Welcome to today's episode of the tour that Angie B presents. Today's episode features the tour as guest presenters at the historic Bethune-Cookman University in Daytona Beach, Florida. Members of the tour participated as presenters and panelists at the Juneteenth Youth Empowerment Summit that took place at the Performing Arts Center. We're very excited to show you pictures and reflections. So let's get started with today's episode of Angie B Presents The Tour. Discover for yourself a strategy for establishing the promises of God in your life. Charlene C. Thomas is a published author, inspirational speaker, and professional editor. But above all, she is a trained intercessor. As the founder of Sword of the Spirit Ministries, Charlene has created Take Up Thy Sword a monthly newsletter with hope and encouragement from the Bible. This newsletter led to the devotional and journals entitled Prayer Plus Encouragement Equals Power. In 2013, Charlene was named Author of the Year at the Orlando Newsom Awards, and she has written three books thus far in an ongoing series of prayer guides. Her newest release, I See What You're Saying, follows When Heaven Hears Your Prayer, and how great is your faith. You can find all of these anointed products and much more at TakeUpThySword.com and other online retailers such as Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Books A Million. If you need help with resumes, proofreading, or book publishing, these services are also available via Spirit of Excellence Writing and Editing. Contact Charlene directly at 321-209-2309 with any questions or comments. That's 321-209-2309. Remember, God heard your prayer. Now you need to learn how to get the answer. This DJ is taking over the joint. DJ Shine in the mix. mix. Thank <laughs> you. 
DJ Saeed, 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 Saeed. I don't switch up my swagger, don't switch up my flow. I'm not the same old dude that I was before. I don't switch up my swagger, don't switch up my flow. I'm not the same old dude that I was before. Sometimes we have to be broken down so that we can be rebuilt into what we're actually meant to be. When the struggle to climb becomes just too heavy, and when God's voice becomes silent in your ear, just hold on because a queen is about to emerge. The new book by the Queen Bee is entitled Last Week I Wanted to Die, published by True Soul Publishing, an umbrella for survivors. The revealing story of suicide, pain, and depression. The Queen Bee, Angie B, has emerged as a business owner, ministry leader, and a faithful child of God. This story is just the beginning. Last week I wanted to die. On sale now at thequeenbee.com. DJ Shiny is banging your heads on the one and twos. I think you better recognize it. Baby, 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 baby. I've been praying, 
I've been jumping, I've been stomping. I've been praying, I've been jumping, I've been stomping. Put your right foot on the enemy. Put your left foot on the enemy. Now stop. Stomp I see and let the Lord turn you around. Yeah, I've been praying, jumping, stomping. Get on the floor and praise them, get funky. Yeah. When I the spirit, man, I can't function. Yeah. Set up your praise, your blessing is coming. Yeah. I close my eyes, think them again every time I rise. I've been praying that you'll see me through. Lord, only you know what I'm going through. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to today's edition of Video News. My name is Angie B and I'm excited to be your reporter for today. Today's special announcement comes from Bethune-Cookman College in Daytona Beach, Florida, where the tour that Angie B presents will be special guest panelists at the Juneteenth Youth Empowerment Summit. The Youth Empowerment Summit takes place on Friday, June 20th, 2014, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. This year's theme is Making Choices, Being Responsible for the Decisions That You Make. There will be door prizes, lunch, music presented by Barty Productions. And this is a free event open to middle school, high school, and college students. We also encourage parents and youth service providers to attend. The Youth Summit will be split up into three categories for females, parents, and males and members of the tour that NGB presents will serve their community as presenters. Registration and networking begins at 9 a.m. And for more information, you can visit facebook.com slash the tour that NGB presents or use the contact information that now appears on the screen. This has been another video news special announcement presented by Angie B Productions. My name is Angie B and I was very excited to be your reporter for today. Thank you. The Daytona Beach Juneteenth Festival Group announces the third annual Juneteenth Youth Empowerment Summit taking place Friday, June 20th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Bethune-Cookman University Performing Arts Center. This year's theme is entitled Making Choices, 
being responsible for the decisions that you make. This event is open to middle school and high school students, parents, college students, and all youth service providers. It takes place at 698 West International Speedway in Daytona and features special guest appearances by members of the tour that Angie B presents. For more information call 386-258-7590 that's 386-258-7590 Go out and give it all you got. You know? He said, hit them hard and never give up. You know, in today's Youth Summit, we shared a lot of stories about how bad life was and how much better it is now and, and, and what we did, but we tried to encourage you and inspire you to not give up. Our theme was making choices and being responsible for the decisions that we made. And sometimes a decision that you have to make means to not give up. We saw in the Man Up movie that sometimes other people can influence you to make poor decisions and to go ways that you shouldn't go. And you're not going to have one of us standing there saying, you know you don't need to do that. You know you don't need to drink that. I don't have to tell me that I don't need to eat that. We don't need, you know, we just need somebody that can help us make responsible decisions. And I know some of you may not understand this or may not accept it or realize it, but we do. Because when Jesus Christ was on this earth, he walked with us, but then when he left, he left us with a helper, the Holy Spirit. And sometimes the Holy Spirit will say to me, and to me, you need to do this, or you need to say this, or you need to go over and tell that person in the purple blouse, and whatever, whatever, whatever. But the bottom line is, we're not alone in making decisions. We may be alone in being responsible for the decisions that we make. Now, I know Regina is good about saying, you mess up, you're going to jail. Okay? I know she is. I ain't trying to mess up. Because there's certain times in your life where a decision that you make will land you in jail. And there's certain times in your life where a decision will land you in a 2,000-seat arena, like the Performing Arts Center. And I'm, I'm grateful for that. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 3, it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, Jesus Christ may not be standing right here next to me, but the gift of the Holy Spirit is holding me up right now. The gift of the Holy Spirit allows me to stand here and say what I have to say to you. The gift of the Holy Spirit allows me to open my mouth. When I grew up, I was so shy with a whisper in a person's ear, just so that they could hear me. I couldn't say anything more than my name. The gift of the Holy Spirit made it very easy for me to be able to walk into a room like this and not be fearful. I was a kid where my mother would ask me, do you want to go to a youth summit? Do you want to go to camp? She would ask me because I didn't need to make no decisions. I was a child. When, you know, the Bible says when you're a child, you act like a child, you speak like a child, but then when you're a grown-up, when you're a man, you do other things. But how do you know to do those other things if you don't have a parent or a leader to teach you and to guide you? So my mother didn't ask me, do you want to go to a youth summit? She said, you're going. Get up, you're going. She didn't ask me if I wanted to go to camp, and she didn't have a free camp to send me to. She had to pay good money for me and my sisters to go to camp and make sacrifices. And that was a blessing. In the, in the video, MC Hammer has a line and it says, My crew is hard and we ready to strike. We too legit to quit. You're hard right now and you're ready to strike. You want to get out and you want to get back into whatever it was you were doing before you came here. But today, you have people come from Fort Pierce and Gainesville, not Tallahassee. You have people come from St. Petersburg and Orlando and Alcamont Springs just to strengthen you, just to encourage you, just to inspire you. You have Judge Grimes, who is retired. He ain't got to do nothing. But he still gets the camp together. He still negotiated for us to be in here together. You got people all around you that don't want you to quit. They don't want you to go the wrong direction. They don't want you to make excuses because you made a poor choice. And now you have to suffer the consequences 
that go see Regina and go to jail. They, they, we, we just don't want you to have to be that way. I remember years ago when I was with, with when, I, when I thought I was a Christian, and I thought, okay, to be a good Christian, you have to ask God for certain things. And I asked God for the gift of the Holy Spirit because I thought all good Christians could speak in tongues, and that was just fascinating. You know, let me just, Lord, can I can I speak in tongues? Because I thought that that was what you were supposed to do. And then I read in John chapter 14, verse 16, where Jesus Christ told the disciples, I will ask the Father, and he'll give you a helper to be with you forever. So, did God send me a helper by letting me speak in tongues? No, I can't speak. I can't even pretend like I can. But what he sent me was something that I needed the most. See, sometimes when we're making decisions and being responsible for the decisions we make, we don't get what we want. We get what we need. We may want new shoes, and we may want a, a new baseball cap, we may want a new headband, but the $5 that we got, maybe you should go to do something else. Why are you going to complain because your parents can't give you an allowance for you to get a video game when you can get something and maybe work with somebody else in union and you all get a video game together and share it and play with it? Let's play nice and share. That's what we used to have to do when we were first watching the MC Hammer video back in 1991. Can you believe that video was out in 1991? I can't believe it. God sent me the gift of the Holy Spirit where he's able to come to me and he'll whisper in my ear. Now each of you know that sometimes you'll hear something or you'll feel a certain way and you think, I really don't know about that. Because that sounds like something my mom would tell me to do and I don't want to do what she tells me to do. But try to listen to that voice. Because actually, God is our Father. Some of us have a daddy in the house, some of us don't. God is our daddy. He's on top. He has patience with us when we mess up. And we want you to have patience too. We want you to learn. I hope that each of you were able to learn something from the Youth Summit today. I hope I get to see some of y'all tomorrow at the Juneteenth Family Festival. I pray that you meet somebody before you leave, somebody that you didn't know before. And I hope to hear from each of you again. Thank you, everybody. Have a great weekend. Taking the gospel into the nations Spread the good news Never supposed to lose I'm a chosen few With Christ in your heart It get next to you What up, dude? Do what you supposed to do For God to love the world That he gave to you right. The Lord been trying To get at you, man Come on, confess, believe He get at you, man Cause he has a plan That'll help you stand Against the trials of life Cause he loves you, man
coming, but I made it, man. Spent a long time running, but I made the change. Woo. Give your life to Christ, and you can do the same. Who show you the light, cause he loved you, man. All right. He gave this life, so it's no more blame. Knowing your heart that you can't change through the hard times. 